first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number seven on the topic compound interest we are going to learn one of the most important concept that is in x years and y years the amount changes so by using the data our target to find the rate of interest so these types of questions can be seen in some of the medium level exams like bsnl exams or a railway recruitment board so in those medium level exam you can definitely see this question every year that is asked for one or two marks so after watching this video don't forget to solve more and more number of questions based upon this pattern and the same logic you, you will find a question the simple interest also in the simple interest we used to find the difference but in the compound interest we are going to divide it friends got it the same logic by using the same data the question can also be asked in a simple interest in the case of simple interest we used to find the difference but in the case of compound interest we used to divide this so let me move on to three question we can solve all the three question in a formula method so that you will get an idea how to solve this question so let me move on to the question let me move on to question number one a sum of money amounts to rupees 4840 in two year and to 5324 in three year at compound interest compound annually so our target to find the rate of interest per annum is so friends read the question carefully two data is given a sum of money amounts to what is the meaning of amounts to amounts to is called as a total amount so the total amount is 4840 in two years and the same amount becomes 5324 in three years so by using both the data our target to find what is a rate of interest so friends first of all by using data number one that is 4840 in two year let me frame a equation then by using second data we can frame second equation then we need to divide equation number two by equation number one got it so friends a sum of money amounts to so the words are most important the meaning of amounts to is called as a total amount so the total amount will be 4840 so in this case i am going to use a formula that is a is equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n right so power n so friends first of all first amount 4840 is the total amount so instead of a i'm going to substitute 4840 we don't know what about principal so keep p as it is so 1 plus r by 100 our target to find what is rate of interest so let me keep r as it is and instead of n here the amount 4840 in two years so instead of n i'm going to substitute two so this becomes equation number one so by using data one we have substituted in a formula and we have framed equation number one so second equation is and the same amount becomes 5324 so 5324 is equals to we don't know what about principal so one plus r by 100 power n so instead of n here they have given this amount 5324 in three years so instead of n i'm going to substitute 3 and this becomes equation number 2 so finally by using data 1 and data 2 we have framed equation number 1 and equation number 2 so now our target to divide equation number 2 by equation number 1 so listen carefully the remaining part is most important so equation number 2 is 5324 divided by equation number 1 is 4840 is equals to equation number 2 p into 1 plus r by 100 power 3 so divided by equation number 1 p into 1 plus r by 100 power square so friends got it so equation of complete equation number 2 we need to divide by the complete equation number 1 so in this case we can cancel p and p so listen carefully 1 plus r by 100 power 3 similarly the denominator is 1 plus r by 100 power square so this is in the logic that is a power m division a power m so friends while learning simplification you you might be learning that a power m into a power n which is a power m plus n and similarly a power m division a power n will be a power m minus n right so here power 3 and here power 2 so a power 3 minus 2 becomes a power 1 so this step can be written as 5324 divided by 4840 is equals to so a power 3 a power 2 will be a power 3 minus 2 resultant will be a power 1 so this can be written as 1 plus r by 100 so friends most important step what some students used to do is they used to cancel this that is also a right logic 
but uh, some students will make a mistake so in that case not to make any mistake so power 3 power 2 when you subtract this resultant will be power 1 and this can be written as we can bring this plus 1 towards left hand side so when you bring this plus 1 towards left hand side it becomes minus 1 so this can be written as r by 100 is equals to so 5 3 2 4 divided by 4 8 4 0 minus 1 and this can be written as r by 100 is equals to 5 3 2 4 minus 4 8 4 0 divided by and the denominator will be 4 8 4 0 now we can uh, while taking lcm it becomes 4 8 4 0 minus 5 3 2 4 right so divided by 4 8 4 0 and here we have 260 and uh, here we have 324 resultant will be 484 so this can be written as r by 100 is equals to 484 divided by 4840 so we can cancel this on 10 times so we can cancel this on 10 times so finally the rate of interest is 10 so friends for the first question we got an answer that is rate of interest is equal to 10 percentage so most important question so we are going to apply the same logic for all the question which is similar to this like find the rate of interest or find the principal whatever be but the logic is the two data will be in the question first data frame equation number one by using second data frame equation number two then divide equation number two by equation number one and here you need to apply a power m divided by a power n which will be a power m minus n then after substituting after cancelling this and we got 1 plus r by 100 so bring this plus 1 towards left hand side it becomes minus 1 then by taking lcm we can cancel this and finally we found the rate of interest is equal to 10 percentage so for the first question we got an answer 10 percentage question number two a sum of money invested at compound interest amounts to rupees 800 in three year and 882 in five year so what is the rate of interest so the same logic so two data is given first of all a sum of money invested in compound interest amounts to so the meaning of amounts to will be the total amount so the total amount 800 rupees in three years and the same amount which becomes 882 in five years so we can substitute the given data in a formula and we can frame equation number one and equation number two after that we divide and we find what is the rate of interest so first of all sum of money amounts to amounts to 800 in three years so meaning of amounts to will be the total amount so here we i'm going to use a formula that is a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 power n so instead of a i'm going to substitute 800 rupees 800 is equals to we don't know what about the principal right so let me keep p as it is 1 plus r by 100 so our target to find what is a rate of interest so similarly we can keep r as it is and instead of n we need to substitute three years because the amount becomes 800 in three years by using a first data we have substituted in a formula so let me keep this as equation number one and equation number two and similarly the same amount becomes 882 so total amount will be 882 is equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 so instead of n so this amount 882 in five years so instead of n we need to substitute 5 this becomes equation number 2 now we need to divide equation number 2 by equation number 1 so we are going to divide equation number 2 by equation number 1 so once you divide this so this becomes 882 divided by 800 as equals to p into p into 1 plus r by 100 so power 5 divided by p into 1 plus r by 100 so here it is 3 so friends got it so dividing equation number 2 complete equation number 2 by equation number 1 so in this case we can cancel p and p and uh, here if you want you can cancel this when you cancel this on uh, 2 table so this becomes 400 so when you cancel this on 2 table this becomes 441 got it so next step is here 1 plus r by 100 power 5 and here 1 plus r by 100 power 3 so we can cancel 3 and 5 it becomes 2 right so let me write the next step next step is 441 divided by 400 is equals to 1 plus r by 100 the whole square right so next step is let me do one thing listen carefully friends here it is power square right so when you bring the square towards left hand side it becomes 1 by 2 meaning of 1 by 2 will be root so this can be written as 
root of 441 divided by 400 is equals to 1 plus r by 100. So friends, important step, listen carefully. So here it is power square. So when you bring this 2 towards left hand side, it becomes 1 by 2. So 1 by 2, the meaning is root. So the complete root 441 divided by 400. So when you take root of 441 will be 21. When you take root of 400, it will be 20. So finally, this steps can be written as 21 by 20 is equals to 1 plus r by 100. When you bring this 1 towards left hand side, it becomes minus 1. So this can be written as 21 by 20 minus 1 is equals to r by 100. So 20, 21 minus 20 will be 1. So 1 by 20 is equals to r by 100. So when you cancel this, this becomes 5 times. So r is equal to 5 percentage. So finally, we found the rate of interest, which is 5 percentage for question number 2. So friends, easiest logic. So first of all, you need to learn how to substitute the given data in a formula. Then you need to divide equation number 2 by equation number 1. And these are the steps are most important because most, most of the students will make a mistake here. It is easy steps. When you bring this 2 towards left hand side, it becomes 1 by 2. The meaning of 1 by 2 will be root. So root of 441 will be 21. Root of 400 will be 20. Then you need to bring this plus 1 towards left hand side, it becomes minus 1. So after taking LCM here, it becomes 1 by 20 and right hand side will be R by 100. So when you cancel 25 times, so finally the rate of interest becomes 5 percentage. So finally for question number 2, we got an answer that is R is equal to 5 percentage. The last third question, a sum of money amounts to rupees 7000 after 4 years and rupees 10,000 in 8 years at a certain compound interest compounded annually then the initial amount of money was so friends in previous both the questions where the question is to find the rate of interest but in this case our target to find what is the initial money was that means our target to find what is the principal here we are going to apply the same logic but at the final step, we are going to make a small changes here, right? So friends, previous both the question, we found the rate of interest. But in this question, by using the same logic, we are going to find the principal. So first of all, a sum of money amounts to, what is the meaning of amounts to total amount? So total amount 7,000 in 4 years. So similarly, substitute all the given values in a formula, right? So 7,000 is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 power n so instead of n we are going to substitute 4 so this becomes equation number 1 and in this data we don't know what about the principal and we don't know what about the rate of interest in previous cases we found the rate of interest but in this case we are going to find what is the principal got it so second data is rupees 10,000 in 8 years so this can be written as rupees 10,000 so 10,000 will be the total amount in 8 years so 1 plus r by 100 so power 8 and this becomes equation number 2 so friends the same logic we need to divide equation number 2 by equation number 1 so 2 divided by equation number 1 where the second equation is 10,000 divided by 7,000 is equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 so power 8 divided by p into 1 plus r by 100 power 4 yeah and now we can similarly cancel p and p and we can cancel 3 0 here we can cancel 3 0 here it becomes 10 by 7 friends listen carefully where most of the students will make a mistake what they used to do is they used to cancel 1 4 or 4 2 4 or 8 which actually we do in the previous question the logic here is most important because it becomes a power m divided by a power n got it you remember this formula a power m divided by a power m this can be written as a power m minus n so in this case here it is power 8 and power 4 so a power m divided by a power n when you subtract this this becomes four times you should not cancel this and you should not write this as two times so friends got it where most of the students will make a mistake in the previous question also where i am used the same logic a power m divided by a power n will be a power m minus n that means 8 minus 4 the remaining will be 4 so this can be written as 10 by 7 is equals to so 1 plus r by 100 power 4 so friends listen carefully in the previous question for finding the rate of interest what we actually do is we bring this 
4 towards left hand side it becomes 1 by 4 and we used to solve this question in this case our target to find what is the initial amount listen carefully by keeping this as equation number 3 1 plus r by 100 power 4 i am going to substitute instead of this as 10 by 7 in equation number 1 friends got it here 1 plus r by 100 power 4 so in this area i am going to substitute 10 by 7 so substituting 3 in equation number 1 so now equation number 1 becomes 7000 as equals to p so instead of 1 plus r by 100 power 4 i am going to substitute 10 by 7 so this can be written as 10 divided by 7 so finally p is equals to 7000 into 7 divided by 10 so we can cancel 0 and 0 7 7s are 49 so 4900 0, 0. so finally principle will be 4900 so we got an answer for the last third question where the initial amount is 4900 so friends got the logic most important question and uh, first two question for finding the rate of interest we have up to this step we have followed the same logic and then we use a different method so in this question number three our target to find what is the principle so in this case you need to substitute the data that is 1 plus r by 100 power 4 which is 10 by 7 so substitute this 10 by 7 in equation number one so that we will get an answer what is the principle so finally for the last question we got a principle that is initial amount 4900 so friends finally in this lesson number seven we have solved three different questions first two question we have found how to find the rate of interest and the last question we have learned how to find the principal and uh, this is most important question for uh, a medium level exam like railway bsnl etc so after watching this video try to solve more number of questions that look similar to this so thank you so much for watching this video if you really like it share this video to your friends thank you so much bye